I'm joined by Mike Gasby, who's part of the organising team for this open meeting on a Thursday evening. Now, Mike, when was this meeting even thought about? It Was it before, during or after Crofts? No, it was during Crofts. I mean, before Crofts, so many assurances were given that, you know, that what has happened was not going to happen. That, I, I mean, it really caught everybody wrong-footed. Um, and so consequently, on the first day, when it became apparent that this was a catastrophe, um, and we, you know, various people, including myself, pleaded, to, you know, for an emergency meeting to try and minimise the damage that was unfairly being done, um, that fell on deaf ears. And so consequently, by, I think, Saturday, we were so frustrated um, that nothing, I mean, it was just like so demoralising. But anyway, we decided that the only way forward, since we yet again they refused to listen to us, um, was to try and put something into place so that you know we could have an opinion. And of course, from that, the um, uh, the Facebook group, which I think is close to 5,000 members, which is you know we thought the uh, we thought the hair and coat testing thing was like a big deal last year, but this has gone wild. So. And do you think you could have been able to get this much support if it wasn't for Facebook? Well, I think there would have been this, this much support. The, the thing with Facebook is it's like instantaneously we can, we can contact so many people. I mean, the problem before Facebook was that it would have been a very slow pro process, um, you know, even making people aware of where they could, you know, vent their, you know, their, um, their upset at the handling of the whole thing. And what is the purpose of tonight's meeting? <laughs> well, I mean, it's not just a case of saying, look, you've let us down again. I think the purpose, the mo most important part of this evening's meeting is to come up with some solutions. You know, we have been breeding healthy dogs as a group. The show people have been breeding healthy dogs for, for decades. I mean, it's been, you know, all the testing's been going on for decades. This isn't new to us. So consequently, you know, because there was a knee-jerk reaction to pedigree dogs exposed, and I'm not suggesting that there wasn't some issues that needed addressing, addressing but the fact was the show breeders doing the testing, bringing in new bloodlines for, uh, for genetic diversity, uh, for breeding for health and temperament, because at the end of the day we can't win without dogs that, you know, aren't happy and healthy and, and, and are sound and, and walk without limping. So the point is for, for decades, for decades we've actually being aware of health and, and, and temperament and character as part of the way we've bred. So consequently now, to, to target these 15 breeds was, was unacceptable. So we need to go forward. We're hoping that the Kennel Club will actually join us with a, with, um, a method of, of making sure that we're, we're, we're showing healthy dogs and that the world recognizes the fact that not only are we doing it, but we have been doing it for years. Are you pleased with the turnout? There's obviously oh, yeah. a lot of people here already. I mean, it is fantastic. And it's not just, you know, the, the type of people who are here tonight. There's so many long-established breeders and, and, um, and judges, you know, that there's, the wealth of experience in this room is quite remarkable. Well, good luck for the meeting tonight. Hopefully something much. worthwhile comes of it. I hope so. Thank you very much. Thank you.